Welcome to the Six Five Summit. I'm Shelley Kramer, founding partner and lead analyst at Futurum Research. And on behalf of my team here at Futurum and the team at More Insights and Strategy, welcome. We're glad to have you. In this spotlight session focused on future proofing the edge, More Insights' Pat Moorhead sits down with President CEO and Director of Lattice Semiconductor, Jim Anderson. Their conversation covers the big themes that Jim and the team at Lattice are seeing across their customer bases, including AI processing to systems, increased industrial automation, and robotics. It's sure to be a great conversation. Let's get to it. Hi, this is Pat Moorhead with More Insights and Strategy, and welcome to the 6-5 Summit 2021. I am here with Jim Anderson, President and CEO of Lattice Semiconductor. Jim, how are you? I'm doing great. Great to be with you, Pat. Thanks for having me in, and thanks for giving me some time. Thank you. Absolutely. And you know, Lattice is a, a huge add uh, to the agenda here. I am very familiar with Lattice Semiconductor. In fact, uh, you just had your financial analyst day the other day, which is just a great review of all the markets you're in, how you're different, and and uh, uh, the markets you serve. But uh, maybe for our viewers who may not be as familiar, can you talk a little bit about Lattice? Oh, sure. Happy to. So Lattice uh, does a type of chip called FPGAs. That's what we build. And uh, an easy way to think about FPGAs is to think about it as just a really, really flexible chip, a chip that you can program to do uh, just about any task you can imagine. And the other neat thing about FPGAs is you can reprogram them over their lifetime. So you can reprogram them hundreds of times, thousands of times, et cetera. And so our customers use these chips for, first of all, the flexibility, but also the adaptability over time. The fact that they can change the function of the chip and that helps them in a lot of cases, future-proof their systems. And then, you know, for Lattice, where we specialize within FPGAs is we specialize on uh, very power efficient FPGAs, really easy to use, small size, and we're actually the highest volume FPGA maker in the industry. And our chips get used in just a whole bunch of different applications of PATH. I know you know this, but we are used in just uh, hundreds, thousands of different applications. But just to name a few, you know, things like uh, 5G wireless infrastructure, servers that go into both enterprise as well as hyperscale cloud servers, uh, PCs, tablets, industrial automation, industrial robotics, uh, automotive electronics, consumer electronics, and kind of the list goes on and on. And so used in many different applications and uh, you know, really seeing some interesting growth in usage models like artificial intelligence, embedded vision, security processing, and things like that. So hopefully that's a little bit about what Lattice does. It's, uh, you know, we're pretty excited about the, the company and where we're headed over the next few years. Yeah, and uh, Jim, I, I have to explain it uh, a lot as well. And I always like to think that there are different chips that you you have for different purposes. And yeah. and people are using FPGAs instead of uh, controllers, instead of uh, ASICs uh, and, and things like that. I mean, you're... Um, and, and not necessarily just lattice, but when you look at the entire FPGAs, typically uh, lower power than a than a controller, and a lot uh, faster time to market uh, than uh, an ASIC. But it is incredible the companies that I run into when I ask, "Hey, how are you doing this special feature uh, in in the factory, uh, in the robot, in the car?" And and inevitably they get to uh, an F uh, an FPGA. So. Um, uh, congrats uh, on yeah, that. Yeah, appreciate yeah. it. Well, uh, and you have had uh, quite the year, and I know it's not all about stock price, uh, and it's not all about um, bringing out multitudes of new products and solution stacks, but maybe it is. Uh, can you share some of uh, some of those highlights? Yeah, I think, and Pat, it's not just the last year. Okay, the last year has definitely been interesting, right? But actually, I would say it's kind of the last two to three years. Uh, I joined Lattice in, that was a late 2018, almost three years ago now, and then uh, brought on a new leadership team for Lattice as well. And so, you know, there's been a lot of changes at Lattice over the last two to three years. Um, you know, one of them is, uh, for instance, the culture of the company. I think today our culture is much more focused on 
you know, innovation and driving fast innovation to market for the benefit of our customers, being bold in some of the innovation that we're driving. And I think that you can see some of those cultural shifts. Actually, you can see that now showing up in our product portfolio. We've totally rebuilt the product portfolio of the company over the last couple of years. And if, for instance, if you look at just the number of products that we've launched over the last two years, and you compare that to say, you know, three or four years ago, we're launching products at a rate that's three times what we did a few years ago. So tripling our rate of new innovation that we're driving to the market. And then, um, you know, not just bringing more products to the market, but much better right. products to the market too. Much, much more competitive um, products. So we've rebuilt the product portfolio. Our customers see that the level of customer engagement is really astounding right now, really, um, really exciting. But then that's also showing up in our financials too. So you're starting to see in our financials, you know, strong revenue growth, record profitability growth. So yeah, it's a great time to be at Lattice. Uh, last couple of years have been great, but we're we're way more excited about where we're headed from here. Yeah, Jim, I've I've written about your company uh, multiple times, and uh, the first time I went to your uh, financial uh, analyst day, mm -hmm. uh, I came back and just said. You know, this is not the lattice that you've you've grown up uh, uh, to 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 know and like. This is a very different company. And then since then, uh, your say do ratio is is very high. And and whether it was your days at AMD or your new days here at, at Lattice, uh, I think that that makes a difference. And I do feel like, and I'm hearing this from your customer set, which is. Mm -hmm. The claims that Lattice makes, we can we can pretty much take uh, take to the bank. So uh, congratulations on that. And and what you're doing is is you're enabling your customers to do some great stuff. And yeah. and this year's theme for the Six Five Summit is the next Roaring Twenties. Okay, uh, and accelerating into the next decade. And I'm and I'm curious, what are your customers uh, seeing and saying uh, about this? You know, we're, we're not completely out of the woods yet with uh, with COVID, but boy, uh, we're close. Yeah, look, it's a great uh, it's a great question. Actually, let me before I dive into some of what we're seeing with customers or what they're talking about. Let me just say, I I think it's a great time to be not just in the tech industry but the semiconductor industry. I yes. spent my whole career in the semi industry and have. When I look back over the last couple decades and then I look forward at some of the innovation we see moving forward, it's just it's a fantastic time in the industry. I mean, semiconductors are so pervasive in every part of our life, in every electronic device. And I think the the number of new applications that we're seeing are just incredible. And so I think the the Roaring Twenties, that's a great uh, that's a great theme. I think the next decade or two are just incredibly exciting. And so, yeah, some of what we're hearing from the customers, it's interesting. You know, one of the things about Lattice is we have a really wide customer base, over 9,000 customers, many different markets. I would say, you know, one of the, the interesting themes that we're hearing from customers across all those different markets, many different applications, is around this idea of all of our customers are trying to figure out, hey, how do I make my system more intelligent? How do I add decision-making capability to my system? How do I make sure it can adapt to the environment and change over time and be adaptable? And invariably then what customers are talking about is they're talking about adding artificial intelligence processing to their systems. And so we're seeing AI, or if you talk about at the edge of the network, a lot of times it's inference processing being added to all sorts of different devices and devices that have never had that capability in the past. And so that's probably one theme that is just, you know, consistent across all customers. You know, the reason that that's important for us is our devices are just a naturally good fit for AI processing because of the parallelism of uh, FPGAs, because you can reprogram and adapt the FPGA over time as your AI algorithms change. It's just a naturally good fit. So that's one of the, the big themes that we're seeing across the customer base. Um, another one that's closely related and has actually been impacted by the pandemic is around industrial automation and robotics. Uh, this is something, so first of all, it's a big market for us. It's about 40% of our uh, revenue and a lot, we have uh, just thousands of different industrial customers. But I would say pre-COVID, you know, there was already a focus on accelerating industrial automation, the use of robotics. 
But with the COVID-19 experience, that has really sped up. When we talk to our industrial customers now, they're all accelerating their plans for introducing more automation, more robotics into their facilities. And again, our devices are kind of a naturally good fit here. And so that's another common theme that we're seeing across the customer base, uh, especially our industrial customers. So that's a couple different different themes we're hearing. Yeah. So uh, with a lot of people, when they think of AI, they think of, oh, that's something that's done in the cloud, right? Yeah. Uh, and and what I think what's absolutely happening is the more efficient and the more secure method of doing inference is, is at the edge. Uh, and it's efficient because you don't have to go two or three hops. It's speedier because the latency is low because you're literally doing it right uh, on device. And because you're not transmitting uh, data back and forth, it's, it's inherently more secure. You got it. That's exactly right. And so customers are trying to add that edge intelligence or that intelligence into their edge devices. And then look, they also realize that, hey, things are going to change, right? The, the AI algorithms that they're using are going to change over time. And so they need that system to be adaptable over time. And they realize, you know, the pace of innovation is just speeding up. So adaptability at the edge is also really important to them. Yeah, security is key too. And I think uh, mm -hmm. uh, one of these, uh, hey, uh, fun facts about Lattice is that you're on pretty much most of all general purpose uh, server uh, motherboards out there, whether it's AMD uh, or, or, or Intel. And essentially it's, it's, first, it's first boot. You're the first piece of silicon that, that lights up and uh, gives permission that says, hey, nothing's been added uh, to this uh, motherboard or this server uh, when it was uh, in flight. And I, I just find that uh, incredibly Im important, Jim. Yeah, we, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but we, there's a lattice chip on almost every server that ship today, whether it's hyperscale or it's enterprise. And yeah, we do some of the control and management on the platform and you're exactly right. We're one of the first chips that boots up and some of our devices are designed, they're special versions that have security that make sure that nobody's corrupted that system. Yeah. Um, not just after it's deployed, but from the very beginning when it's first manufactured, all the way to where it's shipped through the supply chain to the deployment in the data center, our chip makes sure that nobody's corrupted uh, corrupted the system through that through that pathway. So you're not done yet, are you? You're not just decided, no. hey, okay, we've done enough. We're going to stop innovating here. And it's your uh, uh, recent security analyst meeting that you had. Uh, you introduced a brand new platform called uh, Avant, and my understanding is that it gives you access to a completely new and very large market. And I also think uh, it'd be great to know like who needs it and, and how's it different? Yeah, we're pretty excited about this. We just introduced this a week or two ago, and uh, but we've been working on it for quite a while. And uh, what it really came from was really came from our customers, our customer requests. You know, when I first joined Lattice, um, you know, one of the common questions I would always get asked by customers is, you know, can you extend your product portfolio? Can you give us a wider range of products than you have today? We love, for instance, your current generation products, Nexus products. We love the power efficiency, the, the size efficiency, but can you give us an even wider range of products? And so we basically, we listen to those customers and uh, we're, we've been developing a brand new platform called Avant. It's, uh, it expands our cap capacity or capability of our devices by about 5X compared to our, our current devices doubles our addressable market. But more importantly for our customers, it gives them just a much wider range of Lattice offerings. Uh, and so we're, we're excited about this. Actually, those same customers that kept asking us to build a bigger portfolio, we roped them in to help us define the, the platform as well. So we've actually had 100 customers, actually over 100, engaged in the product definition and making sure that we're building exactly what they need. And so, yeah, as you can imagine, the engineering team is super excited about this. They're working really hard on it. Um, they're having a good time. But the sales and marketing team, you know, the sales team as they engage with customers, they're they're just having a great time too. It's uh, it's exciting. We're uh, we think we're on a great path moving forward. It just we're in kind of a new growth phase of Lattice and Avant will just continue to layer on new growth for us in the years to come. Yeah, what I appreciate about Avant is that this is not a warmed over design on lagging edge 
uh, uh, technology here. What you're bringing is something that's relatively new because a lot of companies that I'm seeing is, is they may have come out with a design four or five years ago. Uh, it's on very lagging edge manufacturing technology uh, and really haven't touched the designs. Now, Avant is, is different than that, correct? Yeah, absolutely. So this is a, a grounds up rebuilt um, architecture and purpose built for the markets that it's targeting. And uh, I think that there's really nothing else out in the market that we see that would be competitive with this. And so, um, and again, uh, you know, it's exactly what our, our customers need. Um, we're engaged with them very closely to make sure that we're building exactly what they need, given some of the new challenges that they're seeing and new opportunities that they see in their business. So, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Um, we, you know, we expect to launch this next year, kind of in the back half of next year. And as we get closer to the launch, of course, we'll we'll share a, a lot more detail about the products uh, that'll be based on the Bond platform uh, near that launch. Yeah, I was uh, I was going to try to squeeze some more details out of you, but uh, your PR people uh, wouldn't let me uh, uh, do this. And 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 going into this, Jim, I mean, you know, you weren't throwing darts at the dartboard. You said you had hundred hundred customers who were engaged, and and it sounds like you learned a lot from uh, uh, Nexus as well. Yeah, we did. Um, Nexus was uh, you know a platform that we launched in late 2019 that started production just at the very end of last year, and it's actually ramping into production this year. And we took a lot of those key learnings from that platform, and that's been incredibly successful. In fact, we've seen the highest levels of kind of new customer adoption or rate of adoption that we've ever seen in the company's history in terms of new product adoption. And so, yeah, we took a lot of those key learnings from Nexus and now you know, made that part of Avant as well. And a lot of the software that we've built for the Nexus platform. So we've built out these application specific software solution stacks that make it really easy for our customers to adopt Nexus. Those are um, also transferable to Avant. So Avant will also leverage that same software portfolio that we've been building out over the last couple of years. You know, things like their software stacks for artificial intelligence processing, embedded vision, factory automation, security, et cetera. So those will be transferable to the new platform as well. But Jim, I'm going to give you the uh, the final uh, word here. <clears throat> but uh, the people that are listening now are your investors, potential customers, executives, executives from your ISVs and your channel partners. Any, any, uh, any final words before I close this out? Well, first of all, just thanks, Pat. Thanks for giving us some time. Um, you know, what, the way I would say it is, you know, over the last two to three years, we're, we're really proud of the progress we've made over the last two to three years. We've really rebuilt the company, but we're much more excited about where we're headed from here. We think we're just getting started. We're in a brand new growth phase for the company, and we're really excited about the coming years for Lattice. We think, uh, we think we're on a great trajectory. Jim, thank you so much. And I, I will tell you, uh, there, there isn't the magic uh, to do it, but if you keep the say-do ratio going, I just don't know how that doesn't work out for you. So I just want to thank you so much for uh, being part of the 6.5 Summit uh, 2021. Uh, and this is Pat Moorhead with More Insights and Strategy uh, signing off. Thanks again, Jim. Thanks, Pat.